127 consecutive days. Today, man, yesterday I I didn't get up when and, and missed time because I hit snooze. Today I hit snooze, but I went get up. I'm not gonna say I came in here with a ton of en energy today to do this, but in the end, wound up with some mobility exercises to get started with, two miles at, at a at a 1% incline, wasn't a big deal. And then the real stuff hit. And 40 lunges, and then the cool, I actually was pretty much to failure today on pull-ups, which I haven't been in a while. So, and it would have been as many as the one last week. It was, I think it was 300 and, no, 210 today and it was 385 push-ups but not to toot my own horn that's not what what i'm doing this for um frankly part of i'm doing this to to just prove to myself that i can do 365 consecutive days we're 127 days in so you know dude not even halfway it sounds cool um and uh, you know, life can bring you bring weird stuff. So, uh, but I have to do this to break out of the weak mind that I've been in, that you have been in for such a long period of time. I am now having to catch myself every single time that I, as I'm working out or doing something, wondering what someone else is thinking. And I think that goes back to a long history of on the outside appearing to be perfect to a lot of people because um, I was the athlete. I was had the good grades. Um, I didn't have any trouble getting a date moved on to play a very high level of baseball, go to a prestigious school, only to come out not even knowing who I was. And I look back at the depression that I think it um, it climaxed in 2019, and hopefully we're on the back end of that. But I believe I went for so long not seeking who I really am and completely lost who I am. And that's part of the push. Um, and, you know, today going into this, this job that I work, I've got to make myself be as good as I can possibly be there, even though I can't stand it. And, you know, still my dream. And for the first, I guess that's a positive, my dream I was actually watching part of the television today while I was working out and I noticed food shortage. And frankly, there's a lot of this that doesn't make any sense to me that we would have a food shortage, but is it because we became dependent? I would have a food shortage right now. And if, if all of a sudden supermarkets were gone and things like that. So is that really progress? Or should we be more self-sustaining? Um, continuing to figure out how to... Actually, it's not continuing to figure out. Let's just be brutally honest. I haven't done enough shit to figure out how to get to more people. And most likely, I've got to go to maybe some social media stuff that I don't really understand how to do. And I've got to get better at this. And figuring out how to get the message out. It's not building a website. It's not like Field of Dreams will build it and they will come. But we are all smart enough to understand that that going to the financial side, that debt is, is creates slavery. If I'm in debt, I'm slave to who I owe the money to. And there's so much emphasis on the importance of having things like high credit scores. Well, to have a high credit score, you have to get into debt. 
and debt creates slavery. So to my mind, I'm going, that's a slave system. Can we do better? Yes, we can do better, but we've got to wake up enough people. We've got to become awakened ourselves to realize that um, to be free, we're going to have to change a whole bunch of stuff. But until, but right now, I got to deal with me. I have to deal with my own personal debt because right this moment, we don't have the community. I don't have this community built. Will I ever have this community built? I don't know. But what I do know is I'm going to try to push myself every single day in that gym because that's where my mind works. And be honest with myself about the anxiety and depression that I do feel on a daily basis. And sometimes I put it out here, but there's pain, I believe, in going from being who they thought you were, to who they thought I was, to who I really am. And right this moment, I am scared. And the only way to not remain scared or become a zombie is for me to face that fear. Will I have the courage to do that? Time will tell. See you for 128.